So it is all finished, wired up, plumbed in, set up, done, fret level, new nut, well, the nut. Yeah, and uh, here we go, so bridge. With that steel bass plate on the bottom of it. A real beast, a real beast. Bridge middle, bridge middle. Middle. Starting to thicken up now, that nice bell chime. Middle neck. Toltex, uh, we push that like up to a seven something. It's written down somewhere. Uh, this might be um, six nine. Takeshi six nine. And then uh, maybe like six two or something here. Almost like the um, board in the Silver Sky set that I did for a current build for somebody. Obviously again through my um, 10 inch speaker Philipson 10 inch pause 10 inch speaker Philipson solid state adequate for making a sound amp sounds pretty sweet so you get this through like a Vibrolux or a fucking Princeton Reverb you're gonna be shitting your little britches aren't you? It doesn't have the um, spring cavity on the back of course so you're losing a little bit of that natural reverb of the, the body and the guitar itself acoustically. This neck is like fucking Ty Cobb's baseball bat it's ridiculous so um that's what's happened there. It's really fat, fat 50s sort of style. Not that um, I was around in the 50s, but I felt some from the 50s. Pause. There it is. Custom build plate pickups. All the wiring inside, switch, etc. Neck was already done. I supplied the tuners, which are Cluson Deluxe Vintage Style. Aged a lot of the hardware jack. Uh, I provided the thimbles, I provided the neck plate, I think, and aged that and etched 
body was from a manufacturer that had sprayed it. Neck was an all parts one that somebody had sprayed, and then they possibly put the logo on. I don't know. Maybe that's just how it came to me. Nice bit of gear. I just play the same shit because that's what I like to play. But whatever, man. It's what you're getting, isn't it? sort of Wilco or Johnson sort of fingernail all that jazz yeah so there we go another one in the fucking bag sick <laughs> 